Oh, what's up, modern status? You just caught me reading my copy of What Falls from the Sky. If you want a chance to win your copy, I'm going to link the video right here and enter into win. We'll be picking the winner on or announcing the winner on Saturday, so make sure you get entered in by Friday night the latest. I thought today we would answer one of your questions. I had a aspiring homesteader contact and asked me the other day what I thought about getting horses on the homestead. Let me read her question for you. It says, I don't know anything about horses. I was planning on learning how to work with one and adopt one that could be beneficial for homesteading. So I thought I would share my experiences with horses with you. This is just our experiences. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you've had horses, leave it in the comments below. Let me know the outcome for you. And if you want to have horses, what do you have for questions? Back when we lived in Vermont, we had two horses. They were great. We had lots of fun with them. They're more of a pet than anything. A few things to take into consideration when having horses. First is they need a lot of land and a good amount of area to run if you want your pasture to stay green. The way we raise animals, we'd rather have our animals on lush green grass. So in that case, you got to have a good sized pasture that you can rotate them through because horses will run around and dig up that grass and eat it. And before you know it, it's just going to be dirt left in their pasture or turnout. Horses eat a lot and for their grain and their hay, they need good feed. For the hay itself, it has to be good, high quality feed, not moldy, not anything that got wet. In a lot of areas, this hay can go for anywhere from $5 a bale to $10 a bale. So you're going to want to check out and find out how much horse hay is going for in your area. You're going to need to get their hoofs trimmed, whether that means just trimmed or trimmed and shooed. And that's pretty expensive there too. They are a big animal and they can get sick. Um, they can colic pretty easy, which basically means they get constipated. And if that, you can't get them to pass the gas or pass the manure, however you want to say it, they can end up dying from it. So you want to make sure you have a good vet on call that you know you're going to want to work with and that they'll come out to the farm for you in situations like this if you don't have a trailer. And that's another thing you're going to want. You're going to want to have a good sized trailer so if you do need to transport them, you can. So when we had our horses, we were living in northern Vermont. The biggest lesson for us, sorry for the ducks, they're a little loud right now, but the biggest lesson for us, hey, we're making a video over here. The biggest lesson for us when we had the horses came the first winter. Horses need a lot of clean, fresh water even in the winter time so we had a trough out all the time and we put a and we put an electric water heater in there to, to keep to keep the water from freezing up and the first time we got our electric bill i'll tell you what we were pretty surprised our rates went up over a hundred bucks that month so that was a big learning experience for us if you're going to have horses think about that are you going to lug water to them a couple of times a day are you going to have a big watering trough out there that you're going to have to keep heated I mean, it's thermostatically controlled, so it's, you're not getting it like 100 degrees or anything, but you're keeping it warm enough so it's, it doesn't freeze. In the northern climate we live in, it can get 20, 30, below zero, so it's got to heat that water pretty good so it doesn't freeze up on you. Horses are a good sized animal, so there's a lot of care and maintenance you got to do. So you're going to spend a lot of time just brushing the horse and keeping them clean. And then also you're going to have to pick up the stalls after them in the paddock. With all the horse manure. That being said, horse manure is awesome for your garden and for composting. It's actually better than cow manure. So I just want you to be aware of everything before you go into getting them. We've had horses before. They're really fun. We had good time with them. And if you have a way to put them to work and do something around the homestead with them, I definitely recommend them. I wouldn't recommend getting them for your first animal. Get something else smaller that's easier to take care of and that will pay for itself. So when we lived in northern Vermont, we had two horses. We had Fly, which was a registered Morgan horse, and then we had Blackie, who was a Tennessee walker. We had him at our place for two years, and then after that, my mom took him up to her house. And the location where we are now, we don't have any big enough fields or anything to have horses. I would love to hear your feedback. If you have horses on your homestead, do you put them to work and get them to pay for themselves? Do you just have them for, because you enjoy them? Are they expensive? Leave them down in the comments below. I would really like to know from my own personal self. I'm sure all the other modern steaders 
that want to get horses or are thinking about it, they'd love to know your experience, especially some first-hand experience. So leave it in the comments below, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Don't forget, keep challenging the status quo, and we'll see you tomorrow.